In May 2016, I made the decision to quit my job and hit the road for two and a half months. In total, I did 6,700 miles. First on a 2005 Honda Shadow 750, then on a 1980 Suzuki GS850. I was gone for 70 days. This was my pilgrimage. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. Which doesn't seem like early to you guys, but it's early to somebody who stayed up until 4 o'clock in the morning editing a video. So it's going to be a late start today. I don't think I'm going to get out of here until like noon-ish. Then I still have to go up to my grandpa's house to get MotoCal, because you can't forget MotoCal. It's really important. I didn't do as much mileage as I thought that I would. I did like 167 miles a day, but it was a lot colder going over Mount Hood than I was prepared for. Plus, brilliant me, I ditched the warm liner in my leggings before I left because I was packing, I was taking photos, it was really warm. I don't need this extra liner in my pants. What? No. <laughs> my legs will just freeze. They'll be popsicles. I'll get to Motors and Moab and they'll be all like, what's wrong with your legs? Why are they like blue and stuff? And I'll be like, oh, you know, it's the cool thing. Popsicle legs. Don't you have popsicle legs? God. Anyway, went over Mount Hood. Super cold. Um, I only stopped the one time to put warmer things on. And, uh, then I stopped in Redmond to kind of like take a breather from the cold. Uh, I stopped at um, Pizza's Pizzeria or something like that. It was a strange experience. It's strange to have your front door on one end of the building and where you're serving food on the other end of the building. You'd like walk through this like weird restaurant like dining area that's like full of kids and you're like I don't know where I'm supposed to be going so you just keep on walking and people are like looking at you. <laughs> you know what is awesome is that I texted Priscilla when I got to the pizzeria place and you're like so are you guys still here because I know that they're going to Modus and Lab too and I was like please, 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 please tell me that you guys haven't left yet. And she's like, oh yeah, no, we're leaving tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, can I please stay with you? It is so cold. And uh, because she's awesome. I mean, you gotta be pretty awesome if you're the head of a chapter of the Lita's, right? But I met her when I did the Turk Wenches um, Modus in Valhalla. She came up and hung out with us at the hot springs. Now it's just cemented her awesomeness. Uh, Cause she's let me stay in this really nice room and I don't have to camp in the cold. I didn't have to find a camping spot to camp in the cold since I didn't make it to the camping spot that I was going to camp at. We're gonna, we're heading the same direction tomorrow so I think I'm gonna ride with them for quite a ways. We're gonna ha take Highway 20 out of Bend and go 78, but then I split out, split off to go south so that I can go see the Albert Desert, which is, I'm super excited about. I'm excited that I get to ride with them for a little while, but uh, it'll be cool. It's gonna be awesome. It's a good day. It's been a good day. All things considered. <laughs> Life lessons. Learning curve. Learning curve. Learning curve. The sad time has come where we will be departing. I'm going to go south and they're gonna continue on 78. It is day two on the road to Mim. I rode with an awesome group, uh, including Priscilla, leader of the Lita's Bend chapter, um, from Bend to uh, Burn? Burns. Burns. I think that's what it was called. And we met up with uh, Killer Carrie and hung out and had some salad bar action. And then we rode a good ways. We stopped at this dinky gas station, which is where we parted. I split off. I went down this road on my way to the desert which is over there I don't know if you can see the dust devils but I'm excited about that I still can't believe it happened but I'm finally here I'm at the Albert Desert in the corner of Oregon and there's desert everywhere and I swear to god I've like been riding around for like half an hour because it's so amazing helmet hair levels have reached day three status even though it's only day two and I just, I don't want to leave this place. <laughs> My baby who got me here. <laughs> Never underestimate your bike. I'm officially roasting in my pants. I think it's about time that I go and find the exit. 
I, I hope that I can find the exit. Keep your fingers crossed for me, all right? <laughs> I'm so glad that I made it here. I'm gonna do this really quick because evidently my camera thinks that it is hella dark outside even though it's only nine o'clock. I got to ride um, for about 200 miles with um, Priscilla and uh, her friends and stuff. It was super cool. I mean, like we stopped in Schwabies and uh, in Burns and found out that my front tire pressure was like five pounds. The guy had to put in 30 pounds of air pressure in my front tire, so check your air pressure, kids. <laughs> and uh, then I made it to Fields, the only gas station in town was closed. And I sat there next to the pump for like 10 minutes, like looking at my phone, being like, where's the next gas station? Can I make it? Is it possible? <laughs> And to, like this wonderful woman come out, came out and she was like, I'm just gonna go walk and get my, my mail and then I'll come back and we can pump you some gas. And she came back and I was telling her how I was kind of freaking out because I, like, I didn't know where I would even camp here. And so she was like, oh no, you just, you know, you just go camp over there. It'll be fine. Everybody does it. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, yeah. There's, there's toilet over there, there's water over there. And I was like, thank you, yes, absolutely. So I set up camp, you know, next to this gas station I just got gas at. Um, downside though, is that uh, the, I think the batteries in my air pump for my air mattress are went dead. So no air mattress tonight. So hopefully I get, you know, a little bit of sleep. I guess if nothing else, I'm gonna wake up at the crack of dawn and head out. So tomorrow I'm supposed to get to Salt Lake City. Um, <laughs> so far, nothing about this trip has gone to plan at all, so um, I guess we'll just see where I end up tomorrow, and hopefully I don't have to make a mad dash like from wherever I end up tomorrow to Moab on Friday. <sighs> anyway, happy second day. See you guys tomorrow.